there is a rejection of some sort of structure here. So this is what's on the surface for the collective or for this message at the time. You have the two of swords with the hierophant. There is a somewhat of like a collective rejection of the establishment of tradition of what's been in line for you for an extended period of time or maybe even your whole life. Um, and I use the phrase in line specifically. Hello everyone. Welcome to Morning Coffee. Sorry, trying to get my sage to go a little bit more here. That's probably good. Hi. Happy Wednesday. Happy hump day. Yes. I hope you guys are doing well. So, yesterday... Yesterday was a little bit of a complicated day. Um, there was a lot of resistance in the in the air. There was a lot of feelings of wanting to move, but not knowing exactly how to move. We had a few squares yesterday that kind of hindered our process. And in ways in which we wanted to maybe take action, maybe move forward, maybe want to find a resolution or something, it wasn't the easiest to find yesterday for most of the day. Uh, today is feeling like a much easier day, which is good. We still have some things to look out for. I did talk about this over on Patreon. Get in on Patreon, you guys, because I am expanding my astrology practice. And I'm looking for, I guess you could say guinea pigs <laughs> to work with. Um, but maybe that's not the right way to say it. But anyway, um, but Patreoners are getting a first first dibs on that, on, on any sort of chart analysis that I can uh, provide to the collective at the moment. Patreoners are getting first access to that. They're also getting a pretty hefty discount. Well, I mean, you're getting, Patreoners get a discount anyway, um, but there's gonna be a little bit of an extra one just for the time being as I work through my beginning stages of really starting to work with this. So if you want more transit reports, if you want access to the, I guess we could call it the alpha stage of my practice here, join us over on Patreon. Um, if you're a little, if you're a little confused as to which uh, tier to choose, maybe email me, we'll talk about it. Because I has, I still have to adjust the tier structure on Patreon, but I'm figuring out how, I'm still learning how I'm adjusting my practice here. And so that will come in time. But so I did talk about today's transits um, over on Patreon. So if you are on Patreon and you just haven't been paying attention for a while, that's there if you want to check it out. And if you want to get in on that, join us over on Patreon. Just keep in mind that you're going to be charged twice. If you ch if you start in the middle of the month, you're going to be charged for when you get in because you will have back access to all of the stuff that's there. Um, and then you will be charged on the first of the month of the first of November. So if you want to wait and start in November, that would be a good idea so that you're not being charged twice. However, if you want to get going now and maybe start catching up on some of the stuff that's there already, you can do that. Just keep in mind you're going to be charged for when you sign up and then you're going to be charged on the fourth, the first, the first of the month, okay? Moving forward. All right, guys. Um, I don't really have too much of an agenda uh, 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 anything else, really, to start with. So we're just going to get into this for the collective at the moment, yeah? This can this this is a, this is a fairly timeless message, although there could be some time sensitive things here if I'm talking about like planetary transits and stuff like that. Um, but all, uh, this is a general reading also, and it's fairly timeless. So just take it as it resonates. Yes. Okay. Wait. Hold on. I have to. I have to hold on. Sorry, coffee is running through me. Ah. Okay. Let's get into this, kids, and see what we have got for today. Here we go. Or for the moment, or whatever. Yeah. Here we go. Hi, Spirit. Please make me a clear channel for the collective at this time. 
Please bring forward the best messages to serve their highest good and the highest good of all involved. Please give us clear and accurate representation of the energies in terms of the situations, situationships, romances, relationships, circumstances, and places in which we all need it the most. Thank you so very much, Spirit. Alrighty, kids, let's get into it. What have we got going on for the collective at this time? Five shuffles. One, two, three, four, five, and five. All right, y'all. Okay, so let's see what we've got going on for the collective today. One last thing that I want to mention before we start uh, is that I will, I am planning on doing happy hour tonight. You'll find all the information, um, if I remember, in the description box below, also the pinned comment. Also, I'm most likely going to schedule it, so look out for that scheduling, yeah? But if you want to get in on the happy hour, the floor is officially open. Check all the information in the description box and the pinned comment below and get yourself in there, yeah? Let's get into it, guys. What do we have for the collective for today, for the moment? What's going on, please, Spirit? What do you want to discuss with the collective right now? Okay. All right. Um, hmm. Overall energy is the Ten of Pentacles. I want to say there's a there's a um, rejection of some sort of structure here. We have a number of cards that have come out, uh, six in total. Only two of them have fallen face up. So this is what's on the surface for the collective or for this message at the time. You have the two of swords with the hierophant. Um, it feels like there is a somewhat of like a collective rejection of the establishment of tradition of what's been in line for you for an extended period of time or maybe even your whole life. Um, and I use the phrase in line specifically because the Hierophant can, can, can be a bit of a tyrant type energy sometimes. There is an energy of, you know, with the Hierophant of collective or societal norms and needing to fall in line with that in order to be acceptable to a certain extent, okay? Now, I see uh, the Hierophant as a Capricorn type energy. And Capricorn is currently direct as of today's the 13th, I want to say Monday night, the 11th. Capricorn has fully moved, has started fully moving direct, okay? Um, and Capricorn, I'm sorry, and Sagittarius, in terms of sidereal astrology, oh, and for those of you that want uh, a look at your chart and everything, I'm going to be looking at things from sidereal astrology point of view, not tropical or mainstream, but you guys probably know that by now. Anyway, I see the Hierophant as a Saturnian energy, and Saturn is in Capricorn right now, okay, which is its home sign. So this is a pretty beneficial energy, but with having come out of this Saturn retrograde, I feel like there are certain traditions, certain societal norms, certain elements in your life that you that once you uh, uh, accepted or flowed with because it was what the general populace, populace called for. It's what society called for. It's what the structure of our lives called for. But that is changing. It feels like with the Two of Swords and the Hierophant here, there feels like there feels like there's a rejection of certain societal structures or certain norms that have been in your life for an extended period of time. The Ten of Pentacles is at the bottom of the deck. 
to me, this can represent the long-term view. Well, uh, technically, this does represent a long-term view. It represents things that you work for, strive for in the long term that ultimately receive rewards or reap rewards for you. The Ten of Pentacles. I see the Ten of Pentacles as the, as the tenth house. Also, the tenth house is the house of social acceptance to a certain extent. It's also very much surrounding your public image, okay? The 10th house is ruled by Capricorn. So when it comes to the 10th house and 10th house energies, so then also the 10th house would be ruled by Sagittarius, I'm sorry, by Capricorn and um, Saturn as well. Um, I just realized I may have said a Sagittarian energy instead of a Saturnian energy previously, sorry. Anyway, you guys understand what I'm saying. But with the 10th house being represented by the 10 of pentacles here, um, this also represents your public image, um, how people see you, how you work towards creating a certain image of yourself and the rewards that come with that, right? There is a level of falling in line with the structure that makes you socially acceptable, depending on what structure you're trying to fit yourself in. And then if you can keep up that reputation, the 10th house is also about your reputation, then that ultimately over time will probably benefit you or probably reap you some rewards. But what I'm getting here with the Hierophant and the Two of Swords, right? Also with the 10 of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck, I feel like there is a rejection of that. I feel like you're wanting to go your own way. I feel like you're, some of us are coming to realize that there are certain things that we have been striving for, working towards that we no longer want to be a part of. There is a rejection of this structure, okay? Underneath the Ten of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck is the Chariot to the Five of Wands. You're definitely wanting to go your own way. And there may be some, there, there may be some internal conflict that's happening here, but I don't think that's the big thing. I think, I think the big struggle here is the outward conflict, the external conflict, the conflict that comes when you change your direction and people don't necessarily like it, okay? The other thing that I wanna mention about this for at least for today, October 13th, the moon is in Sagittarius and is moving through Sagittarius for all, if not a big, a most of the day. I don't think the moon moves into Capricorn until late tonight, something like that, um, into the early morning tomorrow for the 14th, but with the moon being in Sagittarius, coupled with a bunch of other things that are going on here, I'm not gonna go super in depth, but the moon in Sagittarius brings you a very expansive mindset, okay? It can also lead to a very unemotional mindset. The Sagittarius is all about uh, expansion, philosophy, okay? Sagittarius is ruled by Jupiter. So right now there could be some topics for you that are being, especially with Jupiter, Jupiter being in Capricorn, right? There could be some really expanse, a big expanse to topics in terms of your public image, in terms of the things that you work towards right now. That all could be changing, okay? Your longevity, your legacy, your long-term goals, like that all could be changing. And I definitely feel like there's a, a rejection of this structure and there is a desire to move forward in a new direction, possibly even work towards new things. This could be a big change in direction for you at this time. Okay, you have four more cards here. All of them are face down. So these are energies that are potentially or more deep under the surface, right? Uh-huh. Yeah, you see? Yes, you guys. Okay, look, the first thing that I want to mention here, again, there are four cards, but the main focus is the Ace of Swords to the Wheel of Fortune. This is telling me that you have an idea, you have an understanding, you have an, you're having an epiphany. Okay, so for those of you that are over on Patreon, um, when I talked about this in the transit report for the 13th, I said there was an energy of, I feel like there could be, with the moon in Sagittarius, there could be some epiphanies. I mean, that doesn't, it's not, it's not really something to be expected. Okay, because with Sagittarius, the moon being in Sagittarius, I feel like any sort of deeper understandings or expansive mindset that you come to during this time has been slightly in the works for a little bit, right? Especially with Venus being in Scorpio right now. Again, that's another video on Patreon, but 
Venus is in Scorpio. There's also a sextile between Venus and Mercury throughout Venus's transit in Scorpio. So there is an energy of being able to have a deeper understanding of your interpersonal relationships as well. So this could represent interpersonal relationships, right? But with the moon being in Sagittarius, I just felt like there was a, 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 an opportunity or a propensity towards having epiphanies. Here is that epiphany, the Ace of Swords with the Wheel of Fortune. And what this is telling me specifically, you guys, is you are starting to get an, a deeper understanding of how either you want things to change or how you want things to flow moving forward. With Saturn being in Capricorn, this moving direct in Capricorn, you guys, with everything that we learned and experienced over the Capricorn-Jupiter retrograde, Capricorn is now direct in, Cap I'm sorry, Saturn, Saturn and Jupiter retrograde. Saturn is now direct in Capricorn, all right? So you have the opportunity to put this structure into place. The structure is all related to the epiphany, the light bulb moments, the aha moments, the new information, the realizations that you are coming to that are lending to the ability to make some change in your life, okay? You have the Ace of Swords and the Wheel of Fortune flanked by the Nine of Wands and the Four of Pentacles. Five, four, three. Hey, all my Patreoners, five, four, three. Okay, anyway. Um, the Nine of Wands is representing a resilience not giving up, not giving up, okay? Uh, that kind of is reflecting a little bit of Sagittarian energy. And then you have the Four of Pentacles. The Four of Pentacles is giving me two different energies. One, it's representing what you need to release. And two, it's representing what you need to hold firmly to. And I definitely feel like with the Ace of Swords energy here, you have the opportunity to be very clear on both. What it is you need to let go of and what it is you need to hold on to. The biggest thing that I'm feeling you need to hold on to at this time is your personal sense of integrity. Do not back down from that. Okay, you have to remember, you guys, that this is your life. This is your direction. This is your life's work. Okay, do not allow yourself to be swayed by what society or what the, 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 the societal norms or even your the norms of your life dictate. Your life may have looked one way. You may have experienced a certain experience in your life up until now, but you have every right to change that. Don't let this Hierophant energy confuse you or fool you into thinking that you cannot exact change in your life because you can. And that's what the Ace of Swords is also representing here for you. Okay. Excellent. Let us move forward into some clarification. Yeah. Cool. Five shuffles. One. Two. Two. Four, and five. All right, guys. So uh, what are we looking at next? I really want to start with the Hierophant and the Two of Swords here. All right, let's get some definition, some clarity on this one, okay? Some of you are rejecting certain authoritative figures in your life. Someone could be uh, rejecting what it is that their father instilled with them in their lives, okay? But let's see. What's the Hierophant and the Two of Swords here, please, Spirit? The King of Wands is the first card out. And the King of Wands has actually been a huge theme this month. Has been a huge theme for the collective this month. Because with Saturn going direct here... All right, and Jupiter to go direct shortly after that. Um, Jupiter will be direct by the 17th, and then, Mer no, maybe the 16th, and then Mercury goes direct the 17th, or maybe Jupiter goes direct the 17th, and then Mercury goes direct on the 18th, something like that. But the theme, the overall theme for this month, if you guys remember, and, and maybe you haven't gotten a chance to check it out yet, I did do a video for October for all of the signs. It was a live session this past weekend. I will link it in the description box below and the pinned comment also in the top right of your screen. 
but uh, the theme for October for the whole collective was a month of personal renaissance. And that's what this King of Wands energy represents. Having your confidence back, having a, a greater sense of self. This, you guys, this Saturn Jupiter retrograde was really, really beneficial for us to clear up a lot of the shit that was standing in the way or that we were allowing to stand in our own way, okay? Here's that King of Wands. With the King of Wands, however, you have the Six of Cups, in, I'm sorry, the Six of Wands in reverse. Someone is recognizing here that whatever structure, societal structure, societal norms, business practices, whatever convention, whatever convention someone was giving to, someone is realizing also with this Ace of Swords here that it was not victorious. And quite frankly, it probably was never going to be victorious, but that's okay. Because with the King of Wands here, it feels like you have your sense of self back or you have a sense of self to a greater degree than you may have in the past, which is maybe what allowed the Hierophant to get in here and tell you what it is to who it is to be and what it is to do, right? With this, you have the star and death. Transition is happening is what I just heard. You're transforming to a greater vision of yourself. For some of us here, there are some epiphanies that are coming through that are allowing you to see just what it is you want to strive for, work towards, what it is you want to follow on faith with. But you would not have been able to do this should you not be going through this transformation or had you not gone through this transformation. Keep that very firmly in your mind. As, you, as you're dealing whatever, with whatever it is you're dealing with right now, I want you to stay very focused on the fact that you wouldn't even be here in this position to be able to stand up for and through this transformation had we not dealt with Saturn being retrograde. Had you not faced yourself, had you not faced certain things within your life and within your reality that had become very, very apparent that needed to change. So it's really, really what I want you to take note of and what I want you to be very proud of is the fact that this change is not happening for any other reason other than the fact that you have been doing the work for yourself to bring this change, to facilitate this change. You have every right to be very proud of yourself. At the bottom of the deck, clarifying all of this right now or overall energy right now is the Six of Pentacles to the Eight of Cups, to the Moon, to the Three of Pentacles, then to the Ace of Wands, and right to the chariot, okay? But really what's super important here is the six, the six of Pentacles to the Eight of Cups. So whatever it was that you were working towards, striving towards within this Hierophant structure, obviously was not, was not the, the payout was not equal to what it is you were paying into it, right? So what are we walking away from? That which is not reciprocal. Boop! Straight up and down. And honestly, I feel like that has been the biggest lesson for us to learn during this Capricorn, oh, geez, during this Saturn, Jupiter, but mainly Saturn retrograde. Okay. Beautiful, you guys. Let's talk about the Four of Pentacles. What's the Four of Pentacles? So what are we needing to let go of versus what are we needing to hold firmly to? Yes? Four of Pentacles for the Collective Peace Spirit. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. The higher font. Structure. I just heard structure and societal ways. There you go. There you go, motherfuckers. You better get that shit. Overall energy is the nine of wands again. Don't back down. Don't go looking for a fight. Be careful with how aggressive you get. We do have a conjunction between the Mars and between Mars and the Sun. Okay, we also have a trine between Mars and something else, I believe. Or, look, things can get out of hand real easily. Okay, so don't go looking for a fight. Don't go looking to beat anybody up. Don't go really looking to prove yourself right. You don't have to prove anything. But don't give up, okay? What are we talking about with the Four of Pentacles here? Well, that's clarified by the Hierophant and the Page of Wands, re-identifying yourself. This is literally you stepping out of your house saying, hello world, this is the new me, like it or not. One last card that's fallen face down. It is the Two of Cups. Why are you doing this? Because you have a better relationship with yourself and you don't need, <laughs> you don't need this Hierophant energy telling you what to do any longer. Why? Because you found a sense of personal authority that trumps 
all external influences. <laughs> you better get it, boo. You better fucking get it. Last thing I want to look at is the Ace of Swords to the Wheel of Fortune. What's the Ace of Swords and the Wheel of Fortune for the Collective, please, Spirit? Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Oh, yes, indeed. All right. Overall energy is the moon. Shadiness, shady experiences. This, this individual does not tell the truth all the time when it comes to society, okay? Or at least when it comes to the aspect of the Hierophant that we're discussing at this moment, this individual lies through his teeth sometimes. But why does he do that? To keep control. Look at religion, organized religion, right? They twist things all the time to fit their narrative. It's all so that they can maintain the structure. It's also so that they can maintain control over people. Well, to that, I say, I see your Hierophant, and I raise you an emperor with the Seven of Wands. Fuck out of here. To the Seven of Cups. You're not going to confuse me any longer. And the reason why you're not going to confuse me any longer is because I have greater control now. So all these options, all these what ifs, all these dangers, all these fears you want to throw at me to muddy up my sense of, of clarity and security ain't going to happen. It's not going to work anymore. So you can just keep on trucking with that bullshit because we ain't having it round here. Round chill. Okay. Excellent. Okay. Closing Oracle Guidance is coming from the Lightworker Oracle today. Yeah? Fantastic. <laughs> here we go, kids. Five shuffles here. Yes. Hmm. One. I stopped because I also want to get a card from the Oracle of the Unicorns. This is two. So we'll do that. We'll do that afterwards. And this is three. Five shuffles? Yeah. This is four. And this is five. All right. Closing Oracle Guidance, please, Spirit, from the Lightworker Oracle. What message do you have to, to the collective from this deck? There it is. All right. Um, uh, one more card. I want to get it from the Oracle of the Unicorns, yeah? Five shuffles? No. Three is sufficient? Okay, great. Three shuffles. One. Two, and three. All right, Spirit. Last closing message for the collective. We are going to start here. Excellent. Uh, Spirit did say start here, um, and it's perfect because the card that came out from the Oracle of the Unicorns came out face up. The Lightworker deck came out face down. So we're going to start here. And the Unicorns have brought us the card of Celebration. A positive outcome is assured. Celebrate your success. Enjoy your achievements. You guys, I don't care what has specifically transpired during this retrograde period. But you have every reason to be proud of yourself for what it is you've achieved, what it is you experienced, how it is you've grown, and what it is you learned throughout this time period. And what it really feels like here is a greater sense of stability and self-sufficiency, okay? Stability of self, stability within self, which is relating to or translating into a greater sense of self-sufficiency. You have every reason to be proud of yourself. Let's read from this card. Celebration. It's time to celebrate. Your efforts have paid off and good things are on the way to you. This joyful winged unicorn invites you to celebrate even before you see any tangle 
or any tangible, excuse me, signs of success. Think, feel, and act as if the most wondrous blessings have already been showed, showered upon you. How does it look and feel when you really, truly believe in the inevitability of your success? Dance around your house with delight. Let tears of gratitude stream down your cheeks. Celebrate with passion and joy. The higher you take your vibration and emotions now, the faster your desires will be delivered. Once they do take physical form, be sure to celebrate and appreciate them fully. Honor yourself as a powerful creator and a masterful receiver and give thanks to the universe. Continue to expand your desires and allow even more good to flow your way. Ride on the waves of your celebration and let your joy activate even more positive outcomes. This is a blessed, blessed time for you, filled with the energy of success. Finally, our final closing message here is card number 18, Ascension, the Rainbow Bridge. You guys. Oh, boy. Okay. Here we go. You have been growing spiritually and your consciousness is expanding. It is transforming your experience of the material world from something you must control or conquer into a living expression of the radiant divine. As your appreciation and love for the material world becomes more unconditional, so too does the light you, that can flow into your aura, chakras, and physical body. As you physically expand, you may need more rest, healing, and meditation than usual to integrate this increasing degree of light and the consciousness it awakens within you. So if that's the case, take it. Okay, take the time to rest. But I want to point one thing out for you here. It is transforming your experience of the material world from something you must control or conquer into a living expression of the radiant divine. And that's exactly what the Hierophant represents here. Now, not necessarily that you need to control, but others or society or your environment needing to control you. There is a direct rejection of that. And that's beautiful. You have every right to break yourself free. And like I said, you have every right to feel proud of yourself. I'm going to leave it there. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I hope this was helpful for you. I'm sending you all so much love. And I look forward to connecting with you again for our next cup of coffee very, very soon. Make sure to leave me a comment down in the comment section below. Smash the like button. If you're new here, definitely go ahead and subscribe. And I will see you for happy hour later. Take care. Bye. <laughs>